Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I've only filmed one other tag ever, I believe. I think I filmed the blush tag a long, long time ago. If you're interested, I'll link that down below so you can check it out. But yeah, I just thought it would be so fun to film a small YouTuber tag. I don't even consider myself a small YouTuber. I consider myself like a micro mini YouTuber. Um, I have about 345 subscribers. But I thought this would be a fun way for you guys to get to know me better. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you are a small YouTuber, I'm going to go ahead and leave the questions down below. I'm also going to tag some of my YouTuber friends to do this video. Now, if I don't tag you, that's okay. Go ahead and do this tag anyway and leave me your link so I can watch your YouTuber tag. So the first question is what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel five years ago. My first YouTube video is still up and it was me in my old college apartment um, talking about what I put on my face. I think that's what I call the video. I'm gonna do a reacting to my first YouTube video ever, um, you know, eventually just for fun. I just think it'd be so fun because five years guys has made a heck of a difference. I'm a different person in a different place in my life and it's so crazy how time changes things but anyway so what really inspired me to start my YouTube channel I love all things media I have been obsessed with social media from you know when it first started I was a marketing grad in school so these things are really interesting to me um, Instagram YouTube I just wanted to get my hands into everything I used to write a fashion blog because Honestly, fashion was my first love. Uh, makeup is my marriage, I would say. I love makeup. So fashion was like my first boyfriend and makeup is what I'm married to. I love makeup. I'm obsessed with it. I think about it all the time. I'm always wanting to play with it, learn new things about it and see what's coming out and just how technology works with all of that is just amazing to me. So I really started my channel as a, a way to teach myself because back in the day when I was going to school for marketing, social media marketing was a thing that was just starting up. Nobody went to school for social media marketing, whereas now you can probably get a whole degree in it. So there was nowhere I could go get experience. So I decided to give myself the experience by, you know, getting into blogging and YouTube and stuff like that. So I filmed that one video five years ago, then I started back up again three years ago, then I dropped, then I started again. So I've always been like up and down. I always think to myself, what would have happened if I kept going like five years ago to now? Like if I had kept filming, like would I have been the next Jacqueline Hill? I guess we'll never know. But I have again come back to YouTube and I always just find so much satisfaction in filming and the editing and just coming up with ideas like if you guys want to see, I have this notebook that I carry around with me all the time where I'm writing down ideas for videos and like I have a note in my phone that talks about like my schedule and like ideas while I'm on the go. I'm constantly like updating this and taking notes. You know, I put like my favorite products when I'm like testing them out just so I can keep track of everything. So YouTube is definitely something I'm obsessed with and that whole love for media and learning more about social media is what drove me to start my YouTube channel. So the next question is how long have you been on YouTube and have you have I ever had another channel? So I've been on YouTube five years and I've never had another channel. I've been super tempted to start new, a different channel. I know my channel has been through many a rebranding like back in the day I used to call my channel crazy love for clothes because again, I was obsessed with the fashion. Then I think I called it, I had so many different names. Then I went to That's So Charming very recently, like the last last two years or so, I called myself That's So Charming. Then I got married and then I changed my channel name to just Karen Harris Makeup because I wanted to brand myself using my name. I just feel like That's So Charming was so impersonal. And it wasn't really me. I was just trying to think of like a quirky name for a blog and that's what I came up with. So I try to make all my social media accounts. That's so charming. So now I just use Karen Harris makeup. That's what it is on YouTube, on Instagram. And then I have Karen Harris makeup on Facebook as well. 
I used to have Twitter and stuff like that, but honestly, I never tweet anything. So I finally just closed down my Twitter because it was so pointless. And I honestly feel like some people like try to have every form of social media. And personally, I think you should just have what you use. You don't need to be on every platform. Um, people are going to find you on the one you're most active. So I don't have, I do have a Snapchat, but I hate using it. I just use Instagram stories. So my two, three favorite places on the internet are Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So the next question on the small YouTuber tag is where do you see your channel in five years? Um, this is an interesting question. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an interview. Honestly, I would love to see my channel grow. I've always wanted to do this. It's just, it, there's never been a right time. I've never had the technology or the knowledge of the technology. So finally, I feel like, you know, I have a decent handle on the technology. I have a camera. I have a space in my house, like a beauty room, which I'm so, so grateful for. I have a supportive husband who helps me with all of the finer details. And I just feel like now is the time if this is going to take off, it's going to happen in the next five years or I'm done, you know? So yeah, we'll see where it goes. Hopefully I get to grow. I get to work with awesome companies. I think there's a lot of great businesses in Fargo and in North Dakota that I could partner with. I'm always looking for opportunities. So yeah, I'm just going to put myself out there and see what happens. So the next question is what message are you trying to get across through your videos? And that's a really good question too, because for me, it's all about like my passion for makeup and beauty. And I never used to wear makeup, which I don't think people are going to believe me, but I never used to wear makeup. Like where I'm from in Sri Lanka, when I was growing up, I didn't wear makeup. My mom wouldn't let me wear makeup. And so I had, I knew nothing about makeup. And then I remember when I moved to the States to go to school, and it was like my freshman year of college, me and my other friend, we were both, she was like, do you know anything about makeup? And I was like, well, not really. So we had another friend who had lived here for a little while and we went to Walmart and we bought some like foundation and some random powder and like the CoverGirl orange mascara that was like the first mascara I ever owned and just bought a bunch of shit. And I have to go back and watch my first YouTube video but because I feel like that would be awesome to see like what my throwback like products I used to use were because I'm sure it wasn't very good, but yeah, I, it just blows my mind. So the message I'm trying to get across, because I love to babble, is that, you know, if you love something enough, go for it. Like, do it, you know, live it. If you love makeup, then make a YouTube channel and enjoy it and make friends and grow as a person. If I can just help somebody get better at makeup and improve their self-confidence, I think that's really what I strive for because makeup is not difficult for me. I know it's hard for some people and I completely understand because there's a lot of things that I'm not very good at and it's just playing to everyone's strengths. So if you don't feel beautiful or you don't feel confident because you can do makeup, I want you to be able to watch my really simple tutorials and understand how to do makeup and then feel amazing. I'm not saying that makeup makes you beautiful. I'm just saying that it's a way to enhance your beauty and Sometimes my outer beauty helps enhance my inner beauty and everyone's beautiful in their own way. I'm just talking like very superficially about makeup. Makeup does make me feel beautiful. I don't know how you guys feel. I'm just talking about myself and I feel beautiful and I feel like sometimes people just want to learn how to, you know, do themselves up just a little bit and that's what I want to, you know, teach you with my channel is you don't have to do a lot. You don't have to go get plastic surgery. You can just do a little makeup and feel awesome. So the next question is, do people at work find your channel? And yes, people at work have found my channel. I definitely am not a talk myself up kind of person, but I do post about my videos and uploads and makeup that I buy. So a lot of people at work do know I have a YouTube channel and I have some really, really good friends that watch my videos and give me thumbs up and stuff. And you know what's really funny is that I don't know that some people I know know that I can see if they're subscribed to my channel. So when they pretend to be supportive, like, I know you never subscribed to my channel. So are you really my friend? Because there's a lot of people out there that I have been like beyond supportive towards. Now I'm going to sound bitter, but I'm actually really mad about this. Like I go out of my way to support people that start YouTube channels, that start blogs. You know, I like to like their pictures and things like that just because I know how difficult it is 
to get yourself out there. Um, especially because, like, like I said, I've had my YouTube channel for five years. Like, I didn't get a lot of support. I still don't feel like I get a lot of support. And there's, like, newbies that start their YouTube channel and or their blog. And in, like, two seconds, they're, like, Instagram famous. And I just feel like it's sad because a lot of YouTubers and bloggers are women. And I feel like there's not a whole lot of support in the community in general. And that just might be my perception or, you know, whatever. But I really go out of my way to support people when it comes to their YouTube channels and like their blogs and stuff. Because I've been there. I've worked and hustled to get an awesome blog shot or to edit a video as quickly as I could or get the latest product and review it. And I think that as YouTubers and bloggers, it's always nice to support other YouTubers and bloggers because they'll support you in return. And I just don't believe in like the greediness of likes and support. I just think it's so shallow and it's like, I know who supports my channel. I can see my subscriber list. Um, so I'm always like, you know, puzzled with that because I get so mad thinking like, you know, I give you shout outs and this and that and like, what do you do for me? Is that, is that wrong to think like that? I don't know. Maybe you guys can yell at me in the comments, but I just feel like there's so much cutthroat in YouTube. And honestly, if you have a channel that I genuinely love, I'm going to watch your videos. Like, um, recently I found this lady, I think her channel is like Jack, Jackie something. And she's got like 900 subscribers and the quality of our videos are amazing. There's people out there that have amazing quality that do not have the fan base that they deserve. And then there's like people that have not so great quality and not so great content that have thousands of followers and I, it just blows my mind how people kind of judge things and decide who to subscribe with. Anyway, totally digress, but yes, people at work do know I have a channel and most of them are very supportive and if you don't support my channel and you're truly one of my friends, I'm really bitter about it and I know you don't support my channel. So, two big middle fingers to you. <laughs> okay, next question is, what does your username mean? My username means my name, <laughs> Karen Harris Makeup. My maiden name used to be so long, guys. I'm so pumped that my last name is now Karen Harris and I always laugh because I feel like that's such a vanilla name and I really swear to god people don't expect me when they hear Karen Harris. I think they expect some very very different person to show up and answer to that name but here I am. My name is really Karen Harris. My parents named me Karen. It's a thing. Not all people from other countries have weird names. Some of us are named Karen and like Justin and Patty so there's that. Okay, last question. This is a tough one because I know I'm going to forget somebody, so I'm going to apologize in advance, but it's favorite small YouTubers. So some of my favorite small YouTubers are I love, 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 um, Liv loves her makeup. She's got about almost 50,000, so she's not really small, but then when you think of like the bigger YouTubers that are like two, three, four, five million, that's pretty small, but she is so amazing. She's got ADD or ADHD or something, and she talks so fast, and I just love her so so much so if you want honest reviews you gotta check out Liv Loves Her Makeup. I love Life of Nine. She's a friend of mine. Um, Nethmi from the style folder. Her and a friend have the channel Life of Nine. They're so good. Um, so if you're in Sri Lanka definitely check that out. I really love uh, Rented Fashion. Kat, she's my pal. We just met like very recently on YouTube but she is so supportive. You know she we constantly comment on each other's videos. So yeah, check her out. I'm gonna link everyone that is a smaller YouTuber that I watch all the time down below. I'm sorry you guys, there's so many channel names, I can't remember them all. So I'll definitely link a few down below. And I'm gonna tag some people down below as well. But off the top of my head, definitely Beauty by Roche, um, Life of Nine, um, Rented Fashion, which is Kat's channel. And uh, yeah, those are really the, ooh, and um, Refinery41, she's a really small channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and tag her in this one too. So ladies, go ahead and film this video for me, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have so, so much fun with this video. I sure did. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!